Hi, I'm Eraldo. In this video, I'll explain how to synchronize multiple client calendars using OneKal. For this example, I'm assuming you're a freelancer working for Dunder Mifflin and Michael Scott Paper Company. I'm also assuming you have a personal calendar. For this setup, I have three requirements. The first requirement is that I want to block time in Dunder Mifflin for personal events and Michael Scott Paper Company events. Of course, without sharing sensitive information, I just want to block time in Dunder Mifflin. And same goes for Michael Scott Paper Company. I want to block time there for personal events as well as Dunder Mifflin events, but without sharing the event details because I don't want my colleagues to see personal details or even the meetings from my other client. I just want to block time and make sure everyone knows that I'm busy at those slots. The third requirement is for my personal calendar to contain meetings from both clients. This way I'll be able to see my client meetings from my personal calendar as well as join them. So given these requirements, how do we set up the synchronizations? First, I need to explain that OneKal has one-way and multi-way syncs. One-way means that events are cloned from a calendar to another. Say we have a personal calendar and a work calendar, and we only want to clone events from the personal calendar to the work calendar, we set up a one-way sync and we can proceed that way. Multi-way means that calendars are kept in sync both ways. So if we have two calendars, we can keep them in sync and meetings go from a calendar to another and vice versa. So for this setup, I'm gonna create multiple synchronizations. The first one being synchronizing both clients. So let's get ahead. I'll give a name of clients here for the synchronization name and the direction will be multi-way because I want to keep both calendars in sync. I'll select the calendars to sync as Thunder Mifflin and Michael Scott Paper Company. The last step is to choose what to synchronize between calendars. Given that I'm trying to synchronize client calendars, I don't want to share event details, just make sure that I block time in them. So event titles will be busy and color will, will be red. I'll start synchronizing. Now that I've synchronized the clients, I want to make sure that clients also contain my personal slots. So I'll create the personal to clients synchronization one way. This synchronization sends personal events to both clients. Source is personal calendar, target is both clients. Same as the previous synchronization, I don't want to share any sensitive details. I'll mark the titles as busy and color red and start syncing. These two synchronizations cover the clients having each other's busy slots as well as slots for my personal calendar. So my availability is now reflected to both clients and I won't face meeting conflicts. What's left is my personal calendar containing meetings from both clients. And to do that, I'll create two separate synchronizations. First one will be Dunder Mifflin to personal, one way. Source is Dunder Mifflin and target is personal. This makes sure for my Dunder Mifflin events to be synchronized to my personal calendar. And given that I want to see the details of my client calendars on my personal calendar, I'll select everything here. Identifier will be clones, so I understand these are clones. And color will be purple. I'll start synchronizing. And I'll do the final synchronization, which is paper company to personal. One way. Source is paper company, target is personal. And I'll synchronize everything. Identifier clone, color purple, and start syncing. With these four synchronizations, I've made sure that Dunder Mifflin has the availability of personal calendar and the other client. The Michael Scott Paper Company has the availability of personal calendar and Dunder Mifflin, as well as a personal calendar containing the availability of both clients. So let's see the calendars now. The first calendar is my personal calendar. The second calendar is the Dunder Mifflin calendar. And the third calendar is the Michael Scott Paper Company calendar in green. So 
I want to make sure that my clients are blocked for meetings in other clients. So let's open the Dunder Mifflin uh, calendar. As we see uh, at 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. it has meetings which match with the Michael Scott Paper Company calendar. So if, if you see uh, it is a recurring meeting here as well as here. We also have the slots on 5 p.m. So everything is synchronized. And if we notice the meetings have a name of busy with the color red and no details. So I've just blocked off time here without sharing any sensitive information. Same goes for the other calendar. So the Michael Scott Paper Company has the meetings of the Dunder Mifflin calendar. So both clients now are blocking each other's time. And same goes for the personal calendar. So we have a meeting at 7 p.m. for example here. Uh, if we open the the calendar, we should see the meeting at 7 p.m. which is uh, busy here as well as uh, in the other calendar, busy. So we have blocked time off in both calendars. And if we go to our personal calendar, we'll see that we have meetings of Dunder Mifflin as well as paper company. Yeah, this time we are sharing the details on our, on our personal calendar so we can see the color purple as well as identify our clone so we know it's a clone. And now we can join meetings uh, of Dunder Mifflin or Michael Scott paper company from our personal calendar. Also the synchronizations are in real time so I can create a meeting on my personal calendar here. I can say uh, test meeting and hit save. It's on Tuesday 27th. If I open the calendars for August 27th, so we see on Dunder Mifflin it's a busy slot here 10 to 12 which matches 10 to 12 and same for uh, the other client. So the synchronizations are always real time and automatic. So you don't have to worry about missing any uh, events or being double booked. Thank you.